Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to complete the sedge stitch. Uh, this is a very easy uh, one row repeat stitch, uh, very gently textured and can be used for a multitude of different projects. Uh, this is also a stitch that is part of my Autumn Rhapsody blanket tutorial series. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about that blanket, uh, you can find a link to all of the details down below in the description for this video. Uh, the sedge stitch is uh, worked in multiples of three plus two. And for today's video, I'm going to be using my Clover crochet hook size H or a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, as well as some Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in City Beat colorway. So very pretty. So again, uh, we're working this stitch in multiples of three plus two. So the sample that I'm going to be making today will be a chain of 35. That is multiples of three times 11 for 33 plus two for 35 chains for our foundation here. Uh, the chain one at the beginning does not count as a stitch. And for row one, I'm gonna go ahead and chain my 35. One, two, three. With 35 chains on my hook, I will be skipping that first chain, and in that second chain from the hook, I'm going to be working a single crochet and two double crochets in that same chain. So skipping that first chain, working a single crochet and two double crochets in the same chain. Then I'm going to skip the next two chains and work a single crochet and two double crochets in the next chain. So a single, two doubles. And that is my repeat. It's a grouping of three stitches in one chain, a single crochet and two double crochets. Skip two chains, single and two doubles in the next. and you're going to repeat that all the way down across to the end, skipping two, working your grouping of a single and two doubles in the next. And you're going to repeat that till we get to the last three chains, skipping the next two chains. So skip the next two, single, two doubles. So continue that all the way down. When we get to the end of our chain, we will skip the next two chains and work a single crochet in the last chain of that row. So for row two, we're going to turn chain one and I'm going to work a single crochet and two double crochets in the base of that chain one. So in that same stitch, I'm going to work a single crochet and two double crochets. Skip two stitches and work a single crochet and two double crochets in that same stitch. Skip two, single crochet, two double crochets in that same stitch. And that is my repeat as I work down this row skipping two, working my group of single and two doubles in that same stitch. And if you're working this stitch correctly, you're working your group of single and two doubles in the top of the single crochet from the previous row. So skip two, single, two doubles, so continue that on down the end of your row. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to skip the next two stitches and you're going to work a single crochet in that last stitch. And we're just going to be repeating row two to the desired size. So turning, chain one, single and two doubles, 
in that same stitch. So continue on in the pattern, repeating row two to the desired size. You can see here I've done several rows and as I've worked these rows you can tell how beautifully textured your piece becomes as you build and even though this is just a one row repeat working that row two throughout uh, it really does create a beautiful texture with simple stitches and just an easy repeat. So I think you're going to love this stitch and you're going to want to take this to a lot of other different projects as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you so much for being with me. If you like my tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, uh, and reach out to me if you have any questions about any of my patterns. Thanks so much for being here, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.